In the previous video, we took our first look at SWID nesting and reviewed the boards library. This video will dive deeper into the SWID nesting parameters. I'll quickly go through the steps to nest this assembly. The default nesting parameters produce this nest. Now let's take a look at some of the parameters. Rectangular nesting, when checked, uses a rectangular border around the part, regardless of the part shape. I'll keep that one cleared. Sequence method sorts the parts either longest to shortest or biggest to smallest. Resolution controls the degree of accuracy. Tool diameter sets the diameter for the entire project. Different tools can be used on specific parts. Setting it to 8, I would expect the parts to be nested closer together. Offset, which I'll set to 1, is an additional clearance distance between two parts and comes into play in the part distance type calculation. The spacing between parts is either the diameter of both tools plus the offset or the largest of the two diameters plus the offset. Rotation step is the angle parts can be rotated. Set that to 45. There's an option to fit parts in parts, which makes good use of the available board. This being checked and the rotation step set to 45, we might see a couple of the smaller parts fit inside openings in larger parts. Best nesting direction lets the software determine which direction utilizes the available board most efficiently. Part thickness tolerance will allow a part that's not the exact size of the board to be nested on that board anyway. Part numbering defaults to how the board is defined. In this case, starting in the bottom left corner and leaving the most board offset in the X direction. Let's do a rebuild and see how the nest changes. Parameters can be changed and the nest reviewed until it's acceptable. OK creates the assembly. And now we can machine it. Thank you.